What up, what up, everyone? Shady McGravy with a quick mud larking find. Um, this spoon was sticking out the dirt as I was walking around earlier today. I'm going to clean this off. It looks kind of silver. We're going to see what's going on. Got some writing on it. Do some research. And I'll get back to you with the info, people. But uh, mud larking find of the day. Looks kind of silver. We're going to see what it is. Be back in a few. Real quick, let me shout out Nathan Trevor, American Coin Collector. He's one of my major motivations in making videos like this. Um, first found out about the terminology Mullark and through his channel. He does metal detecting. He also hunts boxes of half dollars for silver. Uh, he does the, the penny boxes also. A lot of great content. He has some family content he puts up with his family. Um, when they're out and about mudlarking and um, doing the uh, magnet fishing. So definitely check out Nathan Trevor, American Coin Collector, one of my major motivations for making videos such as these. And he's also having a giveaway on his channel. So remember to check him out, subscribe, and um, let him know that Shady McGravy Gaming Channel sent you. But let's get back to the spoon. And what up, what up, everyone? Shady McGravy, right back at you. Cleaned it off a little. Did a little research on the spoon to see what it was about and see where it came from. Kind of interesting. So on the back of the spoon, it says Tudor Palette Oneida Community Made. Okay. Oneida Community was a perfectionist religious community society uh, started by John Humphreys Noyes in 1848 near Oneida, New York. Okay. Um, they were the key manufacturers of silver-plated silverware and um, basically brought the um, electroplating process to the forefront. They were the top of the line in the, in the 19th century. And, um, yeah, so this is a silver-plated spoon from anywhere from 1889 to 1940, I believe. I couldn't find an exact design for it but I found something similar and it's a teaspoon so it's a silver plated teaspoon so mudlock and fine first one of the year and let's see how much more we're gonna have but once again this is a silver plated spoon okay and on the back, it says Tador Palette Oneida Community Made. That's um, one of their first hallmarks, one of their first stamps on their products. They had a couple of them, but that was one of the first things they started putting on their products. And um, the Oneida Community was a perfectionist, religious, communal society. And it was, uh, once again, started by John Humphrey Noyes in 1848 near Oneida, New York. There was a couple of them. I think they had one out there in Jersey, um, Connecticut, I believe, for when I was researching. But they were um, top of the line. At the height of their, uh, I guess, their existence, they had 172 members. So basically what it looks like, they all stuck together for a common cause and created products for society. You know, but let me know what you think, people. Thank you for checking in. Like, share, subscribe. First Mullark and Fine of the new year. Happy new year. Happy new day. Every day, everyone. Remember to keep winning. And Shady McGravy, I'm out.